Hey guys, happy Monday. It is October 8th and today is a big day. I'm filming a big project at my internship. If you guys didn't know, I work with UCF Social Media, so I plan out and film and edit the UCF YouTube content. Well, not like all of it, but majority of the student-based lifestyle content. Today we're filming a video called How Well Do You Know UCF? So I had to like find talent to be in the video and I had to get um, the studio rented out. I'm actually using the W UCF TV studios. So it's my first time using them and I'm pretty sure this resource is like open to all students if I'm not mistaken. Um, but you do have to like kind of tell them ahead of time obviously. So I'm very excited and I'm a little bit nervous just because whenever I have big projects like this, I kind of freak out a little bit just because I want everything to run as smooth as possible. Um, I'll link my past videos that I've done for UCF's YouTube channel down in the description box below if you guys want to check them out. I've been collaborating with UCF for videos for about like a year, a year and a half now, but I just started working as an intern so I kind of took over the campus nights and my first video was a twist on the Vogue 73 questions. So that was definitely my favorite to film. It definitely took a lot of planning, but it was so cool and all the transitions are really cool and stuff. So, and I'm also learning Premiere. I've always used Final Cut and I kind of still don't really like Premiere just because Final Cut is a lot more universal and I feel like it's a little bit easier um, but I'm definitely getting the hang of Premiere, which is super great because I can put that on my resume that I know Premiere because some people only want you to use Premiere, especially in like the video editing industry. But as you can tell, I'm a little bit sick. Um, I mean, I live in a sorority house with 23 other girls, so it's inevitable that I'm going to get sick sometime during the year. So I'm going to go ahead into the studios and start getting set up. and welcome to the campus nights. My name is Sonali and today we are going to be testing our nights on how... <sighs> I was just coming to check on you. Cool. You wanna film my intro? Yeah, I know. Okay, cool. So I just had my second group of talent and it's going so, so well. I literally think I had nightmares about people not showing up, but I think we have some really good talent. So I think this video will come out really, really good. The next group of people are coming at 12 and it's currently like 11 something. I look, you feel like I work at Buzzfeed right now, you know, doing like a little interview kind of sesh but I don't know, this whole thing is super cool. I think the best part of today is meeting new people and just like talking to them. Cause like, I feel like a lot of us connected somehow, some way, like I only met four people, but I feel like a lot of us like knew each other somehow. Like this school is so big, but I feel like everyone knows someone that you know, and it's kind of cool. I'll try to update you guys a little bit later. So I just got off of work and usually I go straight to Katie meal plan, but I actually got out a little bit later today. So I just got a late plate and yeah, all I've eaten is like a banana and some apples just because I didn't really have any food that I could take. But anyways, I'm gonna go to the gym right now because it is hair washing day. It's a little bit greasy up in here, but I try to wait as long as possible just because like I don't like washing my hair. Also, the last time I went to Planet Fitness, I took a shower there because I usually like to take a shower at the gyms just because it's easier for me. And I left my razor and my shampoos and conditioner in the shower and like just walked out and totally forgot about them. And I had like Redken All Soft conditioner and shampoo and like they're not super cheap. So I was like so pissed. I just like found out the next day and by the time I called, they like already threw it out. So I was like, damn it. And like razors are kind of expensive too. I was just a little dumb not using my brain, but hopefully that won't happen this time. <laughs> currently 7 30 and i'm just like preparing my breakfast slash lunch that i bring to my internship i never leave home without a honey crisp apple cut up and then i'm just bringing some cereal and then i have milk in there because i'm not super hungry like right in the morning but like after an hour or so of being at my internship i get really hungry so so since I make it back in time for meal plan, I don't bring a big lunch to my internship. 
Um, so I get off at like one usually, um, but sometimes I get off later, sometimes I get off earlier, it just really depends. It's so early. <laughs> but I feel like I've gotten used to it, like even on my days off I wake up at latest like 8 30 but I probably won't get out of bed until like 11 or 10 30 or something like that just because it's my day to like relax um but I only go to my internship from like Monday through Wednesday and I do five hours a day um and I'm doing my internship through experiential learning if you guys go to UCF and want credit for your internships that is usually how you get it but you also can get it within your major so I already took a internship last year that counted as my major's credit for an internship so like I couldn't do any more within my major so I had to do it through experiential learning and plus I am pretty much done after this year so I only had one more major class to take and like my minor is already done i kind of needed filler classes anyways to fill up my credits so this was a perfect way to do it and so i'm actually pretty early today so i'm gonna clean out my car this is what it looks like to be an amazon addict <laughs> oh wait there's more So I just got off work and I did a lot for my video, but now I'm just visiting the mail center. So my package wasn't in there, so I'll just go home, which is totally fine. I'm going to go to meal plan right now. So I just got a few things, you know, a few, three giant bags. <laughs> so last year I filmed some videos for a new apartment complex around UCF called The Station. And they actually have like a lot of sister companies, so they have the standard, they have the retreat, probably more, I'm not really sure. But they actually asked me to come to Tampa to film their reveal for the standard in Tampa near USF. So I'm super excited, I get to go to Tampa, and I'm actually bringing Laura with me, and we're going to make a trip out of it. So I just booked the Airbnb last night, and that's why I went shopping, because I wanted some cute outfits to take pictures in all around Tampa, because I know they have like a lot of cute Instagram spots, and me and Laura like love to take pictures together, so I bought a few outfits for that, and then just going out, and I don't know what else. There's honestly so much in these bags, so I don't really want to do a haul, but definitely keep an eye out for a Tampa vlog coming very, very soon. I'm so excited to go. I've only been for Gasparilla, but we literally go in the morning on a bus there and then come back on a bus in the evening. So it's not like I get to explore Tampa. So the only place I've been is like Bayshore Boulevard. I think that's what it's called. And I'm most excited to finally go to Oxford Exchange. I've literally heard about this like since freshman year since i've moved to florida like everyone always talks about this and literally like every time i say something about tampa or anything about tampa comes up in conversation everyone always tells me like oh my god sonali you would love oxford exchange because like you know they know i like trendy stuff so i'm just super excited to be going right now i think i'm going to do some editing i have a council q a to edit for kd and then i also want to like get a jump start on editing my video because I don't know if you guys have noticed but I'm posting every Monday and Thursday and I've been doing it for a really long time. So today I'm attending an extra credit like seminar. So basically an alumni is coming back here to talk about something about like social media and how to build a career through social media or something like that. So I thought it was really interesting and my internship actually told me about it. So I was like, oh, I should go. And then my class was like, oh, it's extra credit if you go. And I was like, okay, this is perfect because it's like two birds with one stone. Stop plucking your eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to probably, be, you know, give some tough love to my 21-year-old self. It's okay to be unsure about what the future holds. It's okay to go to a magazine that you thought was going to be your, you know, trajectory and change your mind. It's okay to change your mind um, and you reserve the right to change your mind and not to let anyone, you know, make you feel a certain way about doing that. Um, I also think it's okay to take chances and to try a untraditional career um, and, and maybe fail or undercharge people in the beginning and then learn later, okay, this is my worth and this is my value. And you know what, some people are gonna say no, but that's okay, maybe that's not the right client for me. 
Um, so uh, there's a lot there's a lot of advice, and I think it's under the umbrella of like be malleable, allow yourself to be you know wrong, allow yourself to make the mistake. Um, and you know, if you're really lucky, you might learn something. Happy Wednesday, guys. It is basically my Friday because today I'm done with my internship for the week and I only had a Monday night class. So the vlog will get better. Like I know I'm using my iPhone for a lot of this. It's just because I'm my internship and I just focus on that Monday through Wednesday. This morning, it was so hard to get up. I don't know why, but I still feel a little bit groggy. I don't really drink coffee, especially in the morning. Like I feel like I like coffee to be my sweet treat just because I don't get like actual coffee. I get like cream and sugar coffee. So I like it to be my sweet treat when I'm trying to be productive throughout the day, but I don't really like to drink it like right in the morning. Today, I actually have an orthodontist appointment because I just really don't like my teeth. I had Invisalign my senior year of high school and I'm currently a senior in college, but I lost my retainer. So they're kind of bothering me and I was just wanting to see, you know, if I could get Invisalign again or like, what are my options? It's the weekend for me and it's only Wednesday. I'm currently headed to meal plan and then at 2.20 is my orthodontist appointment. So hopefully I can run errands before that or after, we'll see. So it's currently two and I'm on my way to my orthodontist appointment. It's actually at 2.20, I'm a bit early, but that's good because I feel like I was kind of like pushing it last time I came here. After that, I need to ship a package out and I need to go to Ulta and I kind of want to treat myself to bubble tea or something from Starbucks, but I haven't decided yet and I haven't decided if I'm actually gonna do it. But, I don't know, I kind of want something sweet because I didn't really eat much for lunch. So, I feel like I'm going to get hungry after this appointment. So, I just got out of my orthodontist appointment and they said it was a candidate for Invisalign. I didn't think I wouldn't be, but they said it would take like a year. And the worst part about getting Invisalign is like the little attachments because they go like right on your front teeth. And like they're so ugly and large, well at least obviously... I can tell because it's my own teeth, but you probably can't tell that much because it's like teeth colored. But hopefully I can get it just because, you know, it'd be nice to straighten them out again. Um, and hopefully this time I won't lose the retainer. But right now I'm going to go to Ulta, replace my Redken shampoo, and maybe I'll look around for a few other stuff just because I do have that 20% off code. That worked out perfectly. There was a two for 24 at Ulta for Red Contingent. Bumped into Tiffany at Ulta, so now we're getting fresh kitchen. The meal plan doesn't sound too appetizing. It looks so freaking good. So I decided to make an appointment to cut my hair. So I just wanted to show like a before and I'll do an after, but this is what my hair looks like right now. This is my natural hair, if you guys were wondering. It's like very like uneven, like weird. Cause like I feel like if I didn't have layers, it'd definitely be a lot more straight. So the big question is how much am I cutting off? I don't really know because I feel like I like it a little bit shorter, like here. But I know when I cut it, I'm gonna be like, oh my God, why did I do that? And I showed Ryan, I was like, oh, I'm gonna cut it like right here. He was like, no, don't do that because you're going to like literally cry. And I was like, you may be right, but I don't know. I could just want something new. And I feel like when my hair starts to get too long, especially when it goes in the back, it looks kind of gross. It just doesn't look like as nice as it should, as it could, you know? I always tell my friends, like, tell me when it's getting to that length that it needs to be cut. Thank God for honest friends because they probably keep growing it out just because I don't really like notice because it's just like on my head, you know, like, I don't know if that makes sense. I kind of feel like going like a little bit crazy and getting like shorter than usual, but I don't know. I don't want to do like too big of a jump and me regret it. So we will see. I'm going to Floyd's and hopefully it turns out good. Gotta say my goodbyes to my hair. It's coming off.
all my friends are gonna be so happy I'm finally doing it. This is wild. You guys probably don't think it's short, but it's freaking short. But I actually really like it. And usually I don't like haircuts like right after I get them done just because it's a big shock, you know? But I kind of like it and I'm very excited to style it. I'm honestly really excited to see all my friends' reactions to it. Especially Laura because she always wants me to cut my hair. And I feel like this is like a good happy medium, you know, for the both of us. So when I got home, I took off my sweatshirt and like I'm wearing a lighter shirt. So it definitely seems a lot shorter. Look at it now. Like it literally used to be down here or something like that. Like it was a lot that I cut off. I'm not gonna say I've never had this short of hair because I definitely have had it shorter when I was little, but I definitely haven't cut it this short in like forever, like maybe even like before like middle school. It's short, I like it. I mean, comment down below, let me know if you guys like it. I'll style it tomorrow and we'll see, or maybe I won't, I don't know. I don't really have anything to do tomorrow, but I know I'm washing my hair tomorrow. So we will see what it looks like then. I FaceTime Laura. I really should have got her reaction on um, video, but she was like freaking out for me. It was so funny and cute. And she was like mainly the person who has always told me like chop my hair off. So she was my inspiration because she just chopped her hair off. And if you guys don't know who I'm talking about, she was like my roommate for two years. Definitely go follow her on Instagram because her feed is like 100% Instagram feed goals. So yeah, go follow her. I'll definitely have her link down below. Good morning guys, happy Thursday. Today I blow dried my hair and this is what it looks like. Let me brain it up a little bit. This is what it looks like. I think it looks really, really good. Like I feel like I can blow dry my hair better when it's shorter. Like it just makes it look more flippy and stuff. I'm about to go to meal plan and I kind of hope that I can get some reactions to my hair on film because it's like it's like a good bit shorter like Megan walked into my room and she was like oh my god because when I posted that video at Floyd's I knew people wouldn't like you know think of it as much just because it looked like it wasn't cutting off that much but she went in and cut a little bit more but like I said I'm gonna go eat right now Oh, nice. I like it. It looks really good. Thank you. I like it. It's short. It looks good. Oh, are you filming our reactions? Yeah. I'm so bad at that. It looks so good. What the heck? I didn't know you were going that short. I know. The video doesn't even look like it. <laughs> Did you mean to? Yeah. It looks so good. Thanks. What the heck? <laughs> I thought you were being dramatic. I, I know. To see it. I know. Okay. I feel like. <laughs> Thanks. What the heck? So I'm currently painting my nails, and I realized that I have too many nail polishes. First of all, and too many like of the same color. Look at this. It's insane. Look how close they all are. Like, I mean, you know, they're not all the same. I will say, but they're definitely similar, especially like these two, three. So I just ordered my Starbucks on the iPhone app and this is like my first time ever using the um, app and it's really convenient because I won't have to wait in line. So we definitely love that and I ordered a pumpkin spiced frappuccino because the happy hour deal is like 50% off frappuccino so I had to get a frappuccino but it's all good because it's going to be so yummy. <laughs> This is so, so good. Oh my god, it's like better than I've ever tasted a pumpkin spice latte before. It's a bit dramatic, but I'm hyped. And now I'm going to go to CVS and pick up some things and probably just go back home. I still haven't edited today's video and it's almost about to be 4 p.m. So that's good. Um, it's currently 7 p.m. and I finally edited a video and also look at my nails. I really did not feel like posting today just because I'm like bored with like the videos that I pre-filmed at home. I'm just like, I just need to post them to get them out of the way and then I can start, you know, filming some more fun things and more relatable things because I feel like all those videos are so relevant because I film them in the summer. They're really not because they're like lip swatches and like something about Instagram stories. So like they're not irrelevant, but in my head, they're so old and like I just cut my hair. So I'm gonna have to post them before I like post anything about my hair being cut 
which that's probably not gonna happen because I have so many pre-filmed videos so if you see my hair long in like videos after I post this one then you know why I pre-filmed them and I just need to get them up so like I said, I wasn't feeling editing or posting today, but I actually did post a video, so go check it out. It is my Sephora Lip Stories collection, which isn't super large, but I love those lipsticks so much and I wanted to share them with you guys. It is currently 9.40 p.m., so I'm going to get in bed and yes, that's really early, but that's just the kind of person I am. I love to get in bed early. I currently have the Laneige sleeping mask on and I'm going to sleep with this on, but I'm going to head to sleep and I'll talk to you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. And happy Friday. On my agenda today, I have to film a room tour. I'm currently cleaning up the whole room and Tiffany's in class right now, so it's a perfect time to film. Um, and yeah, so I'm finally showing my room. I'm very excited because I feel like I've never decorated a room this much or like went this hard for it. So I'm very pumped to share um, because then I can start like filming in my room, you know, because I was hesitant to film in my room before I put my room tour video up because that just made sense to me. I'm vlogging on my iPhone right now because my camera's on the stabilizer over there. Last year, my room tour video was like over 15 minutes or something crazy like that. But this year, I feel like I just wanted to keep it short and sweet and I don't want to go into super crazy detail just because I don't really feel like I have to. So I just got done filming my room tour. My back is hurting so bad because I was using that stabilizer and I don't know whenever I use it for like more than 10 minutes like straight my back goes insane like it feels so awful. So I think I'm gonna chill. I think I'm gonna sit down. I think I just have like a lot of computer work today, so that's probably what I'm going to be doing today. So I've been editing for a while now. I am doing my week in my life vlog and trying to just like, you know, get a jump start on editing, FaceTiming Ryan. Do you have anything to say? Comment below what car I should get. That'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> so we saw my hair straight and blow dried. And now it is time to see what it looks like curled. Got my curling wand here. I use the Bombay Hair 5-in-1 and I use the biggest barrel. I don't know what size it is, but it is the biggest. I don't know. I'm scared because I know it's going to be like this much shorter. curl done. Alright guys, so I just curled half of my head in under like six minutes. And it probably would have been faster if I was just like wasn't super distracted. I'm like watching something on my phone. Um I don't know, what do you guys think? Obviously, I want to brush it out a little bit and I want it to be like more like loose waves and not like super crazy curls, but I think that this looks pretty freaking good. I think I just need to like brush through it a little bit. I am picking up Valentina, my little, and we're gonna go to a new sushi restaurant, Sushi Pop in Oviedo. You didn't think I would react? No. Really? What? I showed her my short hair. <laughs> It's I thought crazy. you'd be like, I thought you'd be like, oh, it doesn't look that different. Or no, like, I didn't even notice in the car because yeah, it was I know because it was like because I did you that did on purpose. purpose. <laughs> no, I really like it though. Like so we're here at Sushi Pop, and they have like a lot of different, really, really different rolls. And look at these little soy sauce things; they're so cool, and like everything's so different here. All right guys, so I got the anaconda roll, which has like bacon on top, which I've never had on a sushi roll before. And then I got the ceviche, and it comes with lime. He literally says, don't forget to squeeze the lime. So, very excited. And then Valentina, what'd you get? Equinox roll. Yeah, and it's like vegan, right? Vegetarian? Vegetarian. Vegetarian. 